So are you enjoying Paris? I am. Yeah? Yeah, we had a day off yesterday. Cool. And um, mostly I had to work yesterday, just like doing kind of like emails and design stuff. Like okay, that. cool. But we got to do it like on a rooftop, so it was fine. Oh, cool, yeah. rooftops, yeah. <laughs> cool. So a pleasant the workspace. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's go. So, thank you so much for taking time to answer, answer my question. Right, thank you. Um, if I'm not mistaken, is it full time for you in Paris? This will be our, I think it's our fifth. Fifth? Yeah, okay. Oh. I think it's our fifth. Fourth or fifth. Okay. We were actually just talking about this last night. We were like, which one is it tonight? I think it's the fifth. I know. Maybe. I need to, I need to confirm okay. this. I feel like if we go to the show and we ask, they'll know immediately. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the tour is going well? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Or it's like not, it's just kind of like a festival run and we wanted to play, we played Harlem two days ago. Yeah. Um, and then we wanted to play Paris tonight just while we had time and we're in the area. So. Yeah. You have more and more dates. It's cool. Yeah. So, um, it's very nice to hear the new song of Paris. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I love it. So, yeah, <laughs> so um, the songs will be composed uh, the long time af after the past album, or you take a break and you say, we will be composed? Um, they're a little bit of both. Um, they're actually both Death Me, I wrote while we were still touring off of um, the last record. It was like winter time, I remember. I think it's December, January. Um, and it was while we had like a small break and I remember just working on the demo when I was in, living in New York. And um, so that one was during the record. Loose Nations, I remember, I think we started, we started that around the same time actually. Okay. Maybe, I don't know if it was a year after, but I think it was around the same period though. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So during the last Oh, are there any surprises? Yeah. Now? Um, there's some like hit in the videos. There's some hidden, okay, hidden references and stuff. But I never like to give them away. Okay. Some of them are really obvious, and then some of them are a little bit more subtle. But okay, cool. I kind of, I kind of like to see what everybody comes up with. Okay. <laughs> so maybe the next question is spoiler, but uh, if you don't talk about it, we don't talk about it. Hi, here um, about an EP in October. Mm -hmm. It's for introduce a new album or something else or just. Um, a little bit of both. Okay. I think um, we spent the last year, once we finished up the last record, just kind of rebuilding our team and um, just started with Warner, sort of the new label, um, new booking, new ma or different management changes, some of, one of the same managers, um, and then just new, new producers and collaborators and people to work with. Um, and everything just kind of felt like a brand new start. So we, we kind of wanted to do the same with just with our fans and with, with the way we were introducing music. So we wanted to just kind of do a, a gradual progression into whatever okay. the next album is. Because I think there has been so many changes. We want to just kind of take a step back and like rebuild for a second and like make sure the core is still there and make sure we kind of like, while we're doing that, are starting to introduce the new. Okay. The cool. new sound, I guess. The new sound, okay. Or just the, the future. Okay. Where, where we're going. So. Okay. Um, what am I saying? Oh, yeah. Now you have more and more songs. Lots of great songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, how you might have chose your set list on the show? How do we choose it? Yeah, because oh. all your set lists are very, very cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Um, we just kind of pick whatever feels good. like. It's kind of like making a playlist yeah. for somebody, like or like a DJ set, but we're it's a band set. But we kind of have to take into consideration like the energy of the show, what what type of energy people want to to go through. Yeah. Um, but we also have to kind of like think about my vocals and just like physically what that would, would entail. So like sometimes we can't do like four really difficult songs yeah. after the other because I'll just get fried from it and uh, so we have to like kind of consider those things and then we have to think about guitar changes for for like our guitar techs and stuff and making sure um, those transitions are smooth so there's a lot of like little details that kind of go into it. yeah it's very thought out 
Yeah, we try to think it through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, next one. Um, how do you see involving your photo shows? Involving the photo shows? Yeah. Um, right now we're kind of, like I said, we're kind of stripping back and we're playing, um, like these, the Paris show and the show we just played in Harlem are like smaller size. Yeah. And, um, we're about to do that over in the States and then we may be coming back to do that over here again. Um, but I think we're, we're kind of downsizing, not downsizing in a way that's bad, but just like I said, we're kind of like reestablishing the core of it. Um, so we have to for the live show and like production think of um, ways to still still be engaging and interesting but working with like smaller venues and working with the the changing in scale of okay of venue sizes that's cool yeah yeah but we're, we're scheming up some things that might be cool so okay yeah cool. yeah having a new record company change what for all the band record company yeah um it's changed a lot it's it's changed a lot, but it's also changed not not a lot at the same time. We um, they're very hands off. They let us do what we want to do creatively, um, and then as far as just promoting and, and helping us push that music out yeah. on a, a bigger scale, which is um, we've never really had that before. So it's it's good. Everybody's super supportive. Um, it's it's very family like. Yeah. The, it's very tight knit, which is which is awesome. You wouldn't expect that from um, a larger label. So it's been really cool. It's yeah, great. it's very good for you. I think. Yeah. Cool. And it's the last question. So for the years 2020, uh, you want more what for Paris? I want what? And you you can say I want more chi for Paris. It's more okay. chi. <laughs> yeah, you can say more chi. Um. I think just more, more music, more, more creativity, getting put out into the world. So, yeah, cool. And I think that will happen. So. Yeah, I think it will be that's, happen. That's the plan. So. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to you in, in universe and mm -hmm. yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> and know. it's calm. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I talk to you in universe to make an interview of Paris, and I make an interview. And you made it happen. You know? Yeah. Just step by step, man. It's okay. You just gotta ask. Yeah, ask, ask and believe. believe. Yeah, cool. You know, wow. yeah, yeah, cool. Really? Yeah, it's gonna be <laughs>